Decoding the Diamond, Discovering the Rhombus. Hello, English learners. Today we are going to explore an interesting shape that has fascinated mathematicians and artists alike for centuries, the rhombus. Understanding how to describe and use this term can be very helpful, not only in mathematical contexts but also in everyday English conversations. Let's jump in. A rhombus is a geometric shape with four equal sides and opposite equal angles. Its shape is often likened to a squashed square or a tilted square. This is because, like a square, all sides of a rhombus are the same length. However, unlike a square, the angles of a rhombus are not all 90 degrees. The word rhombus is sometimes used interchangeably with diamond, especially in everyday conversation, but in mathematical terms, these two shapes are not always the same. When describing a rhombus in English, there are certain characteristics that are often mentioned. These include, the rhombus has four equal sides. It has two pairs of parallel sides. The opposite angles in a rhombus are equal. A rhombus has two diagonals that bisect each other at right angles. Here's a sentence using the word, rhombus. The designer incorporated a pattern of rhombuses into the quilt to give it a unique and modern look. Now, let's try to use rhombus in a few more sentences. 1. The logo of the company is shaped like a rhombus. 2. Look at that kite. It's a perfect rhombus. 3. In geometry class, we learned how to calculate the area of a rhombus. Remember, it's always important to practice using new vocabulary in different contexts to really cement your understanding. And there you have it. You've learned about a fascinating shape, the rhombus, and you've learned how to use this term in your English conversations. So, next time you see this unique four-sided shape, whether in a geometry textbook, a quilt pattern, or a company logo, you'll know exactly what to call it. Keep practicing, and happy learning!